Hi guys, thank you for coming back to my channel. Um, as the title <laughs> suggests, today we're going to talk about my October favorites. Um, I'm sorry I'm filming October favorites so late in the month. Um, I've just decided to do a favorites video and I didn't want to do November even though it's half of November I thought it's too late and uh, since I didn't do an October once I thought might as well just try to figure out what exactly I liked in the month of October and what were my favorites and share them with you I hope you enjoy this video and you find useful tips um, and items that you would like to try. Um, okay, uh, now let's move on from the very awkward uh, intro into the favorite. So in the spirit of autumn, uh, even though autumn starts very early in the year when you're somewhere with not much sun, I've started lighting candles at the beginning of autumn, <laughs> in October I mean, um, and this is one of my favorite items uh, from the month of October. Um, I've been lighting candles throughout the month. Um, I found these very very nice candles in TK Maxx. Uh, this one is called Midnight St Snow. I know it's autumn, it's not um, winter yet, however I bought a few candles, but I think this one is the most, I don't know, it's the most subtle. It smells like a subtle men aftershave. I don't know how to explain it. Um, yeah, it smells like, like cold air. I don't know. It smells nice. <laughs> so this is one of my favorite uh, items from the month of October, lighting candles. The second um, item uh, on the list is knitted socks and I love knitted socks. I sometimes wear socks, thick socks throughout, <laughs> throughout the year. Um, I, just, I just can't wait. When, whenever it starts getting cold and my feet start getting um, uncomfortable, I can't live without wearing thick socks really thick socks. So these are my favorite socks from the month of October. These socks, unfortunately for you, <laughs> fortunately for you, these socks were knitted by a friend of mine and well I received them as a gift and these were my favorites in the month of October. I just love them. They're not very very thick. They're quite the wool is quite thin but and originally when I received them I thought they weren't being uh, comfortable because it's natural wool and it's a little bit itchy but it's not they're really comfortable I love them that's another of my favorites now let's get into some beauty products for a little while um, my favorite lipstick from the month of October is the one that I'm wearing on my lips right now and it's a lipstick that I received in a beauty box. It's a uh, Bare Minerals, um, I can't pronounce that. Um, <laughs> it's a uh, Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Rise the Bar. Raise the Bar. Raise the Bar. Um, so it's, it's a very, very strange shade. Whenever I apply it on my lips, it looks a little mauve uh, burgundy. But if you look at it in, like on the stick, it looks more orange, more brownish, with a little bit of gold shimmer. But on the lips, it looks completely different. And yeah, so. That's my favorite lipstick from the month of October. You, I'm sure you can find this um, on the Bare Minerals website or if you want to go cheap, there are many websites in the UK, including TK Maxx, which sells Bare Minerals in their stores. So um, if you find this, buy it. It's good. 
the texture is really nice it's not a, um it's not a matte lipstick but the sheen is so um, i just love it uh, so the second item on the second item yeah I've been talking for half an hour and this is my second item no I'm joking the next item on my list is a nail varnish and it is a Zoya nail varnish nail varnish nail polish nail polish um, it I love Zoya nail polish. My first Zoya nail polish was uh, Miley and I purchased it I don't know I just saw it online and I just saw it in uh, one of uh, the youtubers favorite video and I purchased it and I really liked the texture and I thought that was the most the, the nail varnish that stayed on my nails the most so I decided to try more Zoya nail varnishes and I love them I really do I love the application I love the the length they stay on my nails and this one especially this is gorgeous gorgeous it's from their autumn collection that just came up uh, came out um, autumn 2015 it's called Aggie so in in the bottle it looks it has the sheen it has a sheen of green slash turquoise however on the nails it looks more gold it looks more gold and less you can only when whenever you move your nails it looks like green turquoise sheen anyway that is one of my favorites I love it love it love it I've been wearing it <laughs> I, I don't usually wear nail varnish um, twice in a month and I did with this one <laughs> and I know I know twice in a month is like crazy how can you say it's a favorite if you wear it twice in a month however uh, knowing me and knowing how I do my nails every other day wearing a nail varnish twice in a month there's something special about that one um, the next item on the list is one, um, so first of all, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite brand of skincare. Um, they don't, they have never done anything wrong. None of the products, even if I, it's a, it's a miss rather than a hit. Um, they don't damage my skin, even if, uh, for example, I'm using something and it's a little bit too strong for me, never damages my skin. Um, it's Paula's Choice. It's my favorite skincare. You can you can buy it in Romania, you can buy it in UK, you can find it everywhere. It is, uh, so Paula's Choice is a brand created by Paula Began and she is a she is the guru when it comes to skincare and you if you've not tried her skincare try just try one go on their website and try one this is my favorite from the month of october and the, bo the bottle is almost uh, empty i just i need to purchase another one um it's an exfoliant um i never thought that I've always thought that exfoliants should be used as a treatment once once a week, um, like a mask or once every couple of days. However, you can easily use this exfoliant every single day. It's a chemical exfoliant, therefore you just pat it on your face and the, the dead skin just basically disappears. Um, it, it has done immense, immense improvement in my skin in the month of October. Um, most of the patches that I used to have from old, old scars from um, acne have disappeared. And it's I know it, it's because of this product. This is the Resist Daily Pore Refining Treatment in 2% uh, uh, Beta Hydro Acid. Um, I can tell you a lot about Beta Hydro Acid and and re the resist products but i'm not gonna get into it this is an amazing amazing exfoliant a uh, treatment uh, you can use it if you have combination skin i would suggest using this instead of a toner 
day, night, whichever. But if you use it in the daytime, do not forget to use sunscreen because it can be damaging if it comes into contact with sun. It can burn your skin. <laughs> Next product is um, moisturizer. For the past, and the reason, the reason why this is in my favorites is because it, for the past three years I've been using the same moisturizer day after day after day after day after day and then I found this product and at the beginning I was like oh, I don't want to change my moisturizer I'm good with my moisturizer I don't have anything against it I, it works for me it doesn't break me out why would I change it and then I smelled it and I was in love and I wanted to try it and it worked luckily it worked it worked mir wonders it worked wonders um, it's good things it's uh, I don't know exactly where they're made I think it's an, a UK brand yes it's a UK brand it's called good things and it's a manuka honey daily moisturizer with pro uh, youth protect with royal jelly and bee venom I was like bee venom really let's try that <laughs> uh, I know bee venom basically it acts as a uh, natural retinol um, so plumps the skin and fills the pores and things like that so um, but the reason why I love it so much is because it smells it smells amazing it smells like honey like honey it smells like honey and um, it it's free from so many bad ingredients I just why not use it free from uh, sodium laureate sulfate parabens and mineral oils and the other thing that i really really like about it is the fact that it doesn't have that much glycerin inside 90 percent i would say of of moisturizers that you find in, in drugstores and on the market have glycerin as their second ingredient and sometimes i mean some people work with glycerin really well it's it does what it's supposed to do for the skin my skin I just I don't like glycerin that much it doesn't work with the the, the rest of the ingredients having a, a moisturizer that has so much glycerin it ends up caking the skin much more if you um, if you use it as a <clears throat> under your makeup um, and since I stopped wearing um, I stopped wearing primers because they dry my skin too much I've tried to wear anything in terms of primers but I can't it's it's winter my my even my t-zone gets dried uh, throughout the day and I really can't stand it and so I stopped using primers um, so every time I used something that had too much glycerin and I have products that I'm trying out that has have so much glycerin I cannot use them under under the makeup whenever you apply the makeup you start caking and it looks like that skin has like crumbles you have crumbles on your skin um, anyway uh, the next product uh, on the list is uh, a tea that I started using this month. I found it in the, the supermarket and I just wanted to try it. It doesn't have any... Um, uh, what am I trying to... Caffeine? It doesn't have any caffeine so it's a decaffeinated tea. It's a three cinnamon polka cinnamon tea so basically it's it has a mixture of Indian Indonesian and Vietnamese cinnamon and that's all that's all it has inside it has uh, Vietnamese cinnamon bark Indonesian cinnamon bark and Indian cinnamon bark and it has a little bit of licorice root which is very good for you and the, the reason why I love it so much is because you can drink it without any kind of sugar or any kind of, of sweetener it has that after the aftertaste of the tea is sweet so whenever you just like grab a, a, a taste of it whenever you swallow it it becomes taste 
uh, sweet. <laughs> the taste becomes sweet in your mouth. I love it. It's really, really nice. And cinnamon is really, really good for you. I truly, truly recommend this tea. This is um, um, organic as well and fair trade, if I'm not mistaken. I think this brand, Puka, does only fair trade things. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's the next item. Another beauty product that I actually bought at the end of September. So I've been try I've been using it throughout October fully. Um, and it has changed my foundation game. Full stop. I can't stop it no matter what foundation I used and I used throughout the month of October, September when I started buy buying it and November. This is the bomb. This is the cover effects cover drops my shade is G30 came off yes my shade is G30 and it matches perfectly with my skin um, this is not a cheap product but in my personal opinion this is worth every single penny that you pay for it it's just I just can't say enough good things about this product. I, I saw it when it came out uh, in the summertime and I wanted to try it even <clears throat> since then, but <laughs> it kept... <clears throat> Sorry. <coughs> <coughs> wow. <clears throat> it's just a miracle worker. So literally, it's... Um, it Basically, it's an oil mixed with pigments that's all it is and when i purchased it it was a lot more um liquid but then starting to use it it became more and more creamy as you can see it's 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 still liquid but it's more creamy now the only thing that i this the only thing that i dislike about this product and to be honest if you get used to it you get used to it if you shake it which I did at the beginning because it says it has to be shaken otherwise the oil separates from the pigments then the, the, the dropper the dropper gets so full of product there the bottle starts getting really really dirty and I had to continuously clean it and then halfway through I decided to stop shaking it so before I use it I just squish the, the dropper so basically I shake the product inside but I don't shake the bottle physically and this way the product gets picked up and then released and picked up and released and picked up and released so mixed up um, and yeah it works beautifully the way it works you basically have you can use it inside your moisturizer inside an oil it mixed with a primer but the way i use it is i i have my foundation on the skin and i put a couple of drops to extend the the, the power of coverage of the foundation i i mix it in between three and four drops i know five drops is full coverage full 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 coverage but i feel like Four drops it's it's fine with me it's fine so yeah um yeah so that's that's I love it I don't think I will ever be able to to replace this and I will continue to purchase it over and over and over because it's 15 milliliters and I've been using it for a month and it's probably halfway only love it next on my list is what is next on my list oh I only have a couple of more so the next uh, thing on my list is not a product product is not an item it's a TV show <laughs> those of you who know me know that I am obsessed with TV shows I am obsessed I watch series like a crazy person i get depressed in the summertime when all the series are on break and i look and look and look for new series to watch and i wanna continuously watch things and i just 
I just, I just, this obsession started a long, long, long time ago and I couldn't, I, I can't. Anyway, so the my favorite series in the month of October is something that came out new and I was very, very... I was debating whether to start watching it or not, whether, and then I said I might as well just watch the, the, um, um what is it called? The pro, pro, promo, um, episode, it's Blood and Oil, and I have to say, I didn't think that it was going to get to me, the first episode, and then I tried the second one and it started easy, 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 it started to get to me and I really like it I think it's a good series I think um, it's becoming better and better and better it's just at the beginning but I can see a bright future for this one um, so yeah um, go and watch it try it I'll, I'll link a website in the comment uh, section below the next thing on my list is um, it's basically something that I've been enjoying doing for the month of October and I keep doing it over and over and over and I I like it more and more and more and that is contouring my nose and yes I know I when I started contouring my nose I thought there is no way I can make my nose and now everyone's looking at my nose I know I know I know I'm sorry I'm sorry there is no way I can make my nose smaller. My nose is big. It's always been big. It's getting bigger because I'm getting older and I feel like it's growing out of my face. So I've been trying to more and more to contour and contour. And the one thing, basically it's not, it's not contouring that I do every single day, but it's highlighting. I have to highlight my I have to highlight my nose um, and whether I use I don't use cream products I use powders and it doesn't really matter what uh, highlighter you use but whatever I use I started using this brush which is you're all gonna say are you insane that is not a brush for contouring what is wrong with you there's nothing wrong with me. I think this is the perfect size for a brush if you want to contour your nose because you just pack the product on the tip of your nose and then you can use it on the side to highlight just the ridge of the nose. So this is perfect for me uh, and that is, yeah, so highlighting my nose, it's been a favorite in the month of October. And the last thing on the list is something I know it was October <laughs> I know but the one favorite thing in the month of October has been starting with my Christmas gifts and I personally I recommend it to everyone I know it's early and I know everyone's gonna say yeah but that the, as long as the gifts start giving in the shop you start buying them because and because and the most reasonable reason for this is money y you might put money on the side and think okay I'm just gonna have this money spend in the month of November but what if you don't find the items that you want for your loved ones and you run out of money so it's easier if you start early and you make a list and then you start buying one item at a time so that was the last thing on my favorites list in the month of october i hope you enjoyed my video um and you find you found interesting things please do let me know if you would like me to help you find any of the products or um you have any questions in regards to the products that I've explained to you that I've showed you today um, yeah thank you very much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and hit thumbs up that would help me enormously um, yeah I'll see you next time bye bye